everyone and welcome to today's Qigong video. In this video, I'm going to share with you three acupressure points and the massage technique that you can use to support your immune system or if you're feeling a little bit under the weather, you can use them to facilitate the recovery. Go ahead and get ready and let's begin. So the first point that I'm going to share with you, it's called Hegu. It's located in the triangle between the thumb and the rest of the fingers in the flesh. So go ahead and place your thumb and the rest of the fingers this area. And in circle motion, try to find a spot that feels a little sensitive than usual. That would be an indicator that there is a point there. If it feels very sensitive, you can spend a little longer here until the pain goes away. If it's okay and it feels even pleasant, then just massage it around for one to two minutes. You can continue doing this this way, but also you can use the technique by applying the pressure, holding, and then releasing. So let's try this one as well. So press down and hold, and then release. Press down. about six to eight times a minute taking your time feeling the area connecting to the point connecting to your body so this point is very good for anything that has to do with breathing with our lungs our external energy barrier, our protection from the harmful external factors. So if you want to you know, take care of yourself, to support your immune system, this is a good point to use. So we do one more here, press down and hold, and then release. And then relax your hands by the side. Practice in mindfulness, observe the two hands. Notice if you feel any different. Usually you should feel warmth and kind of awareness after doing the Qigong massage. Next, I'm going to show you the second point is Nei Guan point, located about two fingers down from your wrist on the inside, right in the center. So again, go ahead. I like to kind of, you know, search them with my thumb. Press your thumb down and circle around until you find the area that feels a little sensitive. This point is good for heart and the circulation. So apart from the breathing, we also need a good circulation to stay healthy and stay well. So this is a very good point to kind of, you know, support the function of the heart and improve circulation. So circle. feels extremely sensitive almost like you can't touch it then apply a little pressure you can just stroke around but spend a little longer here it means that this area and potentially that organ needs your attention okay so the technique that we're doing today is the press and release so go ahead and press down then release press down release Carry on at your own pace. Try to bring your attention to the area, to your hand. Feel the sensations every time you press down and then release. Do one more. And relax. Again, relax your hands by the side. Compare the two hands, observing the body. Very good. And the last point we're gonna focus on in this video is called Zhu San Li. It's located on the outside, under the kneecap, under the ring finger. So if you was to place your hand 
top of your knee so kind of draw down the line under your ring finger and outside here so this quite not muscled area is quite strong so maybe with the finger you'll need to apply a lot more pressure and it might not feel good for the fingers what i like to do is i like to tap with my fist okay you don't have to do it in this position you can be sitting down on a comfortable sofa or couch and do that but i'm just here to show you what you can do so tap 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 very good another way how you can uh, massage this area that will take a little more practice is to tap with your heel so this tapping is quite strong as well so it will really go through you will feel the sensations inside like a little nerves it's also a way to do that. Relax. Take a moment here to notice the area under your knee, anything that you feel there. I feel the warmth, like a little ball of energy, a little nerve ball that sends all the signals to the body. So this is a short video. I wanted to share those three points with you. The Hegel point, the Nagel wine point and the Zhu San Li point. Don't forget that the same points are located on both sides of the body. So after doing a five minute massage on the left side, you can perform the same on the right side. They are absolutely identical. So, you know, take your time, play with them, massage them, uh, whatever feels right for you. And uh, how I use them, I usually would finish my practice, you know, if I feel like I need that extra support, I would use those points at the end of my practice or sometimes when I feel, you know, there is something not quite right there, I would apply a little pressure there for like three to five minutes and on its own. And then once you feel good, then I can carry on doing what I'm doing. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope it was useful to you. Let me know in the comments below this video. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel uh, so we can grow this online community together and I can do more free videos for you here on YouTube. Stay safe, stay well, and see you soon.